women want to chase. That certainty drives them away. Even though they want it and they claim they want it, but they don't realize that when they get it, they lose interest. Even if you love her, I prefer you don't tell her. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, man, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, I'm here to teach you that if you hide these things from women, they're going to crave you even more. There are a lot of things that guys don't understand that they need to keep on a low. You're dealing with these girls okay, okay. and you're trying to be so out there. There are certain things that women actually prefer that they don't know. Let's get right into the video. Number one, hiding your interest level about them. Guys, this is multiple stages of this. From the, from the first time you meet a girl to dating her to long-term relationship, your interest level can never be abundantly clear. Women must always feel like they're chasing something. I am telling you, you don't have to believe me, but you gotta suffer the consequences. Who are the guys that get cheated on the most? The guys that their women know do is head over heels for her. Who are the men that women test and play games with? And disrespect the men that they know that are head over heels for them. Keep how you feel about her low. Never let it be abundantly clear how you feel because once she figures out where you stand with her, she knows that you really are into her, here come the games, here come the testing, here it comes. I'm gonna give you guys a story. My girlfriend in college, my first girlfriend in college, when I was, when we were just dating and, and I didn't make her my girlfriend yet, she was submissive, she was cooperative, she was everything. The moment she realized that I was, I, I was, I was into her, I started going above and beyond. I started seeing her every single day. Boom! Here come the games. Here come the testing. I was like, what, what, what? I thought this is what you wanted. They're gonna keep asking for it. Hey, baby, give me more. Give me more. Tell me how much you love me and care about me. The moment you do, here come. The, they know they got you. Women want to chase. They want to keep clawing and fighting for a guy that they really want. They don't want to ever, even though they say it, that certainty drives them away. Even though they want it and they claim they want it, but they don't realize that when they get it, they lose interest. They get bored, right? So how you feel about her must be a mystique. Even if you love her, I prefer you don't tell her. <laughs> I prefer you keep it low. Keep it low, keep it on low. I'm telling you, man, show her through your actions. And I'm gonna I'm be honest, man, the, the main chick I'm dealing with, I have this conversation with her every other month about how I feel, this, this, and this. I'm like, baby, I show you how I feel through my actions. They want to get that certainty that you feel a certain way about them, but I know women better than they know themselves. I understand women better than they understand themselves. I know what's on the other side of me telling you how I feel about you and, 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 and making my, my feelings so clear. I know you better than you know you. Because when I do it, when I start telling you how I feel and, oh baby, I, I'm so in love with you and all this, boom, she got you. Now she's testing the next office validation. You gotta keep it mysterious. Oh yeah, because guess what? When you keep it mysterious, she has to keep fighting. She, she doesn't know. That's the best and fastest way to, to keep women submissive. Even when you first meet her, that's why I'm saying a lot of you guys are so clueless about women that when you go up to a woman, you over here complimenting her. When you just met her, you telling her your interest level. Even though that's what she claims she wants, there's nothing for her to chase, bro. Give her something to chase. If you don't give her something to chase, guess what's gonna happen? Okay, well, I know you like me. I know he's had over years for me. Now she starts playing games. Now she starts seeing just how much she can get, get away with. Because obviously you're head over heels, right? It ain't, ain't much you can test with a guy who you're not sure what he, what, you know, how he feels about you. It ain't, it ain't gonna be that much testing, is it? It ain't gonna be that much playing games and pulling back, is it? Because you pull back for me, you're gonna be pulling back forever. It's gonna be a pullback for life. You ain't, you, I ain't coming back. But when she knows that you're head over heels for her, she knows exactly how you feel about her. Now she starts testing a little bit more. You give them an inch, they take a mile. You give them a little rope, they want to take all of it. Oh, he's so into me like this? Okay, I'm gonna start showing up late. I'm gonna start saying some slick stuff. And before you know it, she just outright disrespecting you. You have to understand women better than they understand themselves. That's what that comes down to. Number two, hiding your status and money. Guys, I used to make this mistake. Oh my God. When I started getting a little bit of followers on IG, I would try to, man, I'd be like, man, who are you? Bro, I don't know what in the world I was thinking. I let the ego get to me. 
or I would try to like, you know, if a girl was was playing games a little bit, I would get upset and be like, who are you? Like, look at me, I'm this and this and this. Nah, man, that's the wrong way to do it. I caught myself though, and I'm here to save you from making that mistake. No matter how much money you make, how much status you got, because I know, I, I know guys, I know, I know your pain. You bust your butt to make you make a name for yourself and women try to downplay it, I know, I know. That's how I felt too. Like how dare you try to downplay my success, act like I'm some regular dude when you just got 20 followers. Who, who are you? You can't be like that. I know, I know, I, I fell for it too. But listen, you can't be like that, you gotta hide it. And the best thing to do is to act like it doesn't matter. Because guess what's gonna happen? When you do that, they, they over exaggerate. See, I was thinking if I let it be known that I'm this guy, this guy, that guy, that women gonna appreciate me more. No, they're gonna value me more, no. What ends up happening is they start looking, they start downplaying even more. They start, they, they start asking themselves, well, is this all he got? But if, but you don't gotta be loud, man, to be seen. If you that dude, women know. They might try to play games and act like they don't really see it, but they see it, bro. They see it. So don't leave with it. Hide your money and status, man. They can tell. Eventually a girl gonna know that I'm doing better in life. <laughs> I don't gotta tell her nothing. But when she finds out on her own, it's gonna mean so much to her. She's gonna, she's gonna over exaggerate it. Instead of instead of downplay it. See, when you lead with it, they start trying to downplay it because they think, okay, he's showing me this and acting like he's this big man, this 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 popular guy, you know, because he might not be that good at something. But when you act like it's just a normal thing, you act like you don't even bring it up. You got a bunch of followers, you make a bunch of money, you act normal with it. Women over exaggerate your status and money. They start thinking, oh my God, he must have more money and more status. He must be even more well-known. Don't overplay it, guys. Hide your money and status. I know, I know, as men, we have ego. I know. And I'm saying this, I brought this point up because I, I know myself. I'm like, what? This this girl with 300 followers acting like she better than me? What, who, who? If she ain't with the program, tell her to have a nice day. What I saw was, when I did that, when I was overplaying who I was and trying to act like I'm this person, that person, more and more women would downplay it. But when I acted like I didn't even bring it up, you would see girls, oh my God, who are you? This is this, this and this. They wouldn't do that when I, when I led with that. So I'm telling you, first and foremost right here, hide your money and status, more women will crave you. Number three, hiding how well you do with women. This is another mistake I used to make. I, don't, I, I know a lot of guys that make this mistake. When, when, when we start to get good with chicks, you walk around with confidence, rightfully so. But you should never throw that in a girl's face. You should never be like, oh, look at me. Look how many girls want me. Look how many girls want me. I am telling you, when you do that, they start to downplay it. Women up, bro, listen to me, bro. Whatever you want women to feel about you, act the opposite. <laughs> if you want them to over-exaggerate who you are, act like it doesn't really matter. If you want them to downplay who you are, act like it matters a lot. See, when I would act like, oh, man, I got, I got all these girls, man. Oh, look at me, look at me, look at me. Girls start testing me even more. They start acting like I might be hiding something. But when I act like, oh, I'm just, oh, you look like you got a lot of girls. That's what you're gonna hear. Oh, you must get all the chicks. Nah, I'm just living my life. Now nah, they start to overplay it. Oh, he must got all the girls. He, he must got girls breaking down his door. But when you start telling them, look at me, I got girls breaking down my door, they think you hiding something. You might got a small, you know what. Nah, who you are, how, you, how well you do with women, low key. She'll know. Oh yeah, you don't gotta tell her nothing. When you go out in public with her and you dress fly and looking good and she see women staring at you, there's the thing about women, guys. They take any little thing about you and if they really like you, they make it into the whole world. If a woman is really attracted to you and she likes you and you downplay how well you do with women and she sees all these girls staring at you, now she think, now she's scared for her spot. But when you act like, oh, you the man, you get all these girls, and oh, look at me, look at me, I got all these chicks. Nah, she gonna be like, okay, this he he's definitely hiding something. His, you know what, is you know, it might be a little small on the small side. Like I said, if you how, whatever you want women to think about you, you need to act the opposite. If you want them to exaggerate who you are, act like it doesn't matter. If you want them to downplay who you are, act like it matters a lot. And number four, hiding your jealousy or insecurities. Now, the reason I mentioned this, thing, and it's not so much hiding, but eliminating. Women, especially when, when you start dating them a little bit long term, they want to find out who you really, really are. 
So I want you to make sure that any insecurity that you've ever had in the past, or if you are a kind of a jealous guy, you do your absolute best to hide or eliminate it. She better not ever find out that you insecure about your size. She better not ever find out that you insecure about your height. You better be loving your height and your size and whatever else that you're insecure about. Or the fact that you seen her looking at another guy. You better not let her know that you was worried about that. Because if she do, now she starts to think, oh, he's worried that I can replace him. He's worried that I can do better. This is why insecurities, man, you gotta embrace them. Not so much, not so much like accept that you are less than, but try to fix the things that you don't like about yourself. All of us don't like certain things about ourselves. None of us are perfect. Anybody that acts like it is a liar. We all have things that we wish was better. Instead of, instead of being insecure and giving up, try to improve those things or, or talk it up like, hey, if, if you can't in any way fix the things, that some things that you don't like about yourself, right, because those things don't even matter that much anyways, embrace them. The things that matter to women the most are things that you actually can change. So if you hide your insecurities and hide the depth, fact that you're jealous, more women will crave you. I said hide, but I really mean eliminate. Eliminate all your insecurities and jealousy, bro. Especially when you deal with hot chicks. Especially when you deal with hot chicks. Especially when you deal with hot chicks. When you deal with hot chicks, your insecurities, your jealousy is gonna be times a hundred because you know you got a baddie and you know she can, you know, you know dudes are in her DM. You know, you know, guys that might look better than you, that might be taller than you, that might have better bodies than you, that might be, you know, dressed better than you, can be choosing on her, can be trying to get her to, to come to their side. You you better not ever let her know that you're worried about that. You better eliminate it, and you eliminate it by working on it. Working to be the best version of who you are, that eliminates the jealousy, because you're like, hey, you wanna leave me? Good luck, I'll find a better girl, I'll find a hotter girl. And that's it, guys. These are things that if you hide from women or eliminate, they will crave you even more. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Love you, boys.